Hey planner friends, today I am working inside of my fitness planner. I want to show you how I am putting my workout schedule into the monthly section. We're going to get the weekly section set up for this upcoming week and then I'm also going to do a little bit of meal planning um, for the first part of the week. So let's get started. I'm going to be starting out in the monthly section. I'm going to be adding in my workout calendar and I've got these cute little um, I don't even know what these things are actually called. Does it say on the thing? Work life thing by the Happy Planner? <laughs> I actually don't know what these are called. Um, I don't keep up with the names of everything. And I haven't for months. So um, forgive me for not knowing the names of them. I, if they're still available, I will have them linked down below in the description box. And if you're new here, all of my planner supplies come from the Happy Planner. Occasionally, I will order some things off of Etsy or different planner companies. But for the most part everything's from the happy planner so i'm starting off here with a gray mild liner and in the bottom right hand corner of some of these boxes i'm going to put in my work schedule i i kind of teeter between do i work out on the days i work or do i not because i work 12 hour shifts they're usually completely exhausting but i honestly want to um i know that exercising on the days that i work is going to help relieve the stress i don't know if i'm going to do it before i go to work or after probably after because Lord knows I, I struggle to get up at 5 in the morning anyways. I don't need to be trying to get up any earlier. So probably after work. And for the last few weeks here of June, it looks like the days that I work are going to be um, on the, on the, with the workout that I'm doing, it's going to be on the days that are not so vigorous. So the new workout that there's actually a new program out. And if you guys didn't know, I use Beachbody like it love it doesn't matter it's entirely up to you i love beach body love their fitness programs and there's one called fire and flow and i'm starting it well tomorrow because today actually is sunday and i'm working on this today so i'm starting that tomorrow and i'm super excited so for the rest of june most of the days hit on most of my work days hit on the days that are kind of like a restorative type of workout if that makes sense so got that in there. Now we are writing in my actual workout schedule and I got my iPad out and I looked at Beachbody's app, pulled up the program I'm going to be doing and I looked at the calendar and I'm just transferring everything over. Alright, the monthly section is finished, so we're going to stick this back inside of my planner. And I'm going to start on the weekly section, but before I dive into the current week, I pull out the page from last week and I make a note about why I didn't track anything for that week. Um, as you guys know, if you follow me, if you're subscribed, I bought a shed and I'm turning it into a she shed. And last week, you guys, we went hard on the she shed. Like I have made so much progress. I have so many videos to edit for you guys to get you up to date. So um, be waiting for those. They'll be coming out soon. But we went really hard on the, sh on the shed and I nutrition was not a concern of mine. Workouts were not. I'm just so thankful that we've made as much progress as we have. So sticking with that, that's awesome. But I do want to get back on track because for the last couple of weeks, while I haven't been eating the absolute best or doing my workouts, I have made progress and I've started tracking things. I've started writing things down. And each week, what I want to do from there is just start building onto this and slowly building these healthy habits of tracking my food and um, getting my workouts in, drinking enough water, etc. So just wanted to make a note about why I hadn't tracked for that current week and then here I'm going to pull out this upcoming week and we're going to start getting it prepared. It looks pretty empty by the time we're finished with it. Yes, I'm going to add some stickers to it and stuff um, and some different little elements for things that I'm tracking, but it looks pretty empty until I start filling it in and by the end of the week once I write in everything that I've ate for the day, my workouts, and sometimes I write um, like notes about the day at the end of the day. So once I do that, it looks really full and it's super cute and I love the way that it turns out. So if you're looking for a planner to track your health and fitness in, I definitely recommend a lined vertical happy planner. Um, the lines make it super easy to write on everything. You've got the boxes at the top that are a little bit different on the collar. So those can be your priorities or your workouts for the day or your goal for the day, whatever you want it to be. But I highly recommend the Line Vertical Planner. I'll have some of them linked down below. All right, 
these boxes that I'm sticking up top, these are where I will write in my workout. I didn't do it in this video, but what I usually do is go ahead and take the workouts that I've already wrote out in the monthly section and I write them in here. So then I can track whether or not I did it. So if I did do it, I usually just put a check mark or just leave it the way it is. If I don't do it, I will make a note here's why I didn't do the workout. Did I make an excuse that is lame and doesn't make sense and I should have done the workout or did I have a legitimate excuse? Like for example, I have migraines and sometimes I don't work out because I get a migraine. What I like about this is I can look at the monthly section and see what I planned and then look at the weekly section and see what actually happened. And I'm trying to get myself into the habit of doing I want to say like a Sunday reset, a Sunday assessment. Um, I don't know that it's always going to happen on Sundays, so I don't really know. Maybe just like a weekly assessment where I'm starting to look at, not like in a way to beat myself up and say, here's all the things I didn't do right this week and I need to do better and being hard on myself, but just from like a scientific standpoint, not a judgmental standpoint, but just looking what worked, what didn't work, well, what worked and what didn't work. And how can I do better for the next week without judging myself, without being hard on myself? Because honestly, small progress is progress. And for many of us, myself included, small progress is way more than what I've been doing in the past. And I am, I used to be someone that could go all in, um, you know, and start changing everything on a Monday and stick to it consistently. And I'm just not that person anymore. Um, I struggle with that. So small progress that's what I want to do and I'm going to start working towards making a weekly assessment that I can do if I do come up with something like maybe it's going to be a printable for that I put inside of my planner would you guys be interested in that and if so do you want me to size it for each size happy planner so a big a classic and a mini because if so I'm more than happy to create that and then upload that somewhere so you guys can get your hands on it um, I think that's a really good way for us. And it doesn't just have to be health and fitness related. You can do a weekly assessment on um, everything on your entire life. And I, I want to make it to where it has some thought provoking questions that are non judgmental that just helps me evaluate the previous week and create a plan to help me move forward and um, do better for the upcoming week, if that makes sense. And then for the tumblers that I put at the top, that's where I'm going to be tracking how much water I drink, how much coffee I drink, because I drink too much coffee. Um, it's not really the coffee that's the issue, it's the fact that I'm addicted to sugar and I drink sugar loaded down creamer. <laughs> that That's my issue. Um, and then whether or not I took my vitamins for the day. Down here at the bottom, I have an Apple Watch and I'm going to use the data from it and I'm going to track it down here at the bottom and we can see... Um, you know what days I kind of I don't really have a goal set but what day I guess I kind of hit my rings on my watch um, I do have a goal of hitting the rings on my watch but it's not necessarily something that I'm super focused on I just want to kind of keep track of it this week this kind of helps me see if I like tracking it if I don't if it's something that I'm going to use in the assessment process each week to evaluate my progress so on and so forth so we'll see how this turns out not sure if it's something I'll stick with or not and then the last thing that we're going to do, we're going to stick this week back inside of the planner where it goes, and then I'm going to do a little bit of meal planning for the week. I'm going to meal plan for the first half of the week. Actually, hold on, let me pull up my meal planner here and let's look at it. So um, you guys will see me pull it out here in just a second. I did a full meal plan for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now Thursday and Friday, I have to work this week. So you guys will see me pull out my pre-planner. Um, it's the leopard print looking notebook thing that I pull out in just a minute. You guys will see me pull it out and I wrote on there for Wednesday that I need to food prep. And I'll food prep for work for Thursday and Friday. You guys, if you're not food prepping and you have a busy schedule or you work or whatever, um, seriously do it. Start meal prepping. It's going to help you tremendously in reaching your health and fitness goals. Um, so I started the meal plan got up to you know Thursday I will sit down probably maybe tomorrow evening or Tuesday evening and finish the rest of the week there's my pre-planner by the way um, but I'll finish the rest of the week looking into the weekend um, I might not fully plan for Saturday and Sunday until Saturday and Sunday 
we have some stuff in the freezer I could always whip up or even just run to the grocery store because I'm off work those days. Um, here in a second you are going to see me pull out my iPad. I do use Pinterest a lot to try to come up with some new ideas for meals. We are, we're not people that have to have a ton of variety. I'm okay with eating the same things. Not, I'll eat the same things a couple of days in a row, but dinner is the thing that I like to kind of, like we'll, we still have our, our regular meals that we go to, and most of the meals we eat around here are fairly healthy. Um, but sometimes I like to change it up. And I got my iPad out and was looking at that, trying to come up with some dinner ideas. Now I sat down on my iPad and scrolled through Pinterest for a hot minute. I did not record all of that. Um, that would be very mundane and very boring. And what I like to search for on Pinterest is like clean eating recipes, clean eating dinner ideas, clean eating lunches, clean eating snacks, um, clean eating chicken recipes. I, I like clean eating. I like just eating foods that are as close to their natural state as possible. I'm not a big fan of keto or uh, vegan or um, paleo or anything. I just like eating foods that are that are clean and that are whole and that it's not restrictive for me. Um, if it's restrictive, I absolutely will not stick to it. I did stick to keto for a hot minute, but the migraines did not go away for me. And I think that's just because I struggle with them naturally anyways. Um, you know, but I know that some of you guys do that. So whatever you're searching for on Pinterest, go for it. Whatever meals that your family likes, go for it. Um, I'm not here to tell you the best diet or the best way to eat. I'm just telling you what works for me. And I like to keep it clean. Now this week... I'm going to start tracking my calories, how many calories I'm taking in, because if you look at it from a scientific standpoint, weight loss is literally calories in versus calories out. You have to burn more than you take in. So I'm going to start this week tracking that. I think I forgot to add it into the weekly spread, but I think I'm going to go back and add it to like the sidebar or something. I'm not sure yet. Maybe add it in, um, maybe like put it on a sticky note. I don't know. But anyways, I need to start tracking in um, how many calories I consume each day and then versus how many calories I'm burning to see, you know, do I need to maybe eat a little less or find foods that are, you know, more nutrient rich, rich and, you know, not so calorie heavy or, you know, whatever the, whatever it may be. So meal plan is done. Weekly spread is done. The rest of June is done because we're already at June the 12th. So, um, I got the rest of that planned out and ready to go for the month. And here is a quick little recap of the spreads that we made in this video. So here's the monthly section. Again, just workouts here. And then we flip over and we're going to take a look at the weekly section. This is where the bulk of everything that I'm doing goes. Tracking all the things. Workouts, water, coffee, vitamins, things for my Apple Watch. Again, I think the left sidebar is might, might be where I put in calories in versus calories out for each day of the week. And flipping this stuff over with one hand, one hand is uh, kind of tough to do sometimes. So there's the remainder of that week. All my tracking. And then here is the meal plan that I set up for this week. And I made a grocery list, list down the left side. And you can see here where I kind of tapered off and didn't fully plan for the entire week. So there we go, my friends. That is my setup for this week. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if I create a weekly assessment sheet. Do you guys want to get your hands on it? Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.